Hi, this is Randy Nordell, and this is episode 16 of the SimNet Instructor videos. This episode is on the SimNet dashboard, which is what you see here, and this is the landing uh, page when you log into SimNet as an instructor. The different areas here. So let's start up at the very top with course here. Um, by default, all assigned courses are going to be are going to display, and the content from that's going to display in the different areas of the dashboard. You could filter that by course if you chose just a specific course. You could do that as well. I'll leave all assigned for right now. There's five different areas: past due assignments, assignment schedule, integrity violations, student activity and credentials issue. These are the SimNet digital credentials. So let's start with past, past due assignments. Um, I'm at the end of the summer and, and just getting ready to start the semester, so I don't have any past due assignments right now, but you can configure this. So I could click the configure button here, open it up and decide how far back I want to show past due assignments. So if I if I go back to four months back or if I do show all, there'll be quite a few um, assignments that are past due. It show me how many students have past due assignments here. And so it shows 41 here. I could filter this if I wanted to show just a class and, and that's it. I could do that as well. And then it would show for that class, how many past due assignments I have there. Again, you can you can configure that to display, you know, whatever many uh, months, weeks or days back by clicking the configure button. Second area is assignment schedule. Um, assignment schedule has three different areas, has past assignments, current assignments and upcoming assignments. So if I select a class and I know I have some uh, of these assignments here, it will display in there and I could do that. I could say all coming up as well. But notice here that I have some Excel chapter three assignments coming up. Currently, there are some uh, Excel chapter two assignments and past there are Excel chapter one. If I chose all classes, there would be a ton of past assignments and I could view all past assignments or all upcoming assignments in the assignment schedule. So again, you get to determine um, which is the default tab here, but you can filter and, and find information there. And by clicking any of the assignments, it'll take you to that assignment. So that's the assignment schedule area. Integrity violations. The, this area is for SimNet projects and SimNet projects, we have a really good integrity checker on our projects and you as an instructor can decide on, on SimNet projects whether you allow uh, plagiarized files, those that have integrity violations to be uploaded and display in the gradebook or if those get blocked at the upload level. So you get to decide on the um, episode four of the SimNet instructor videos was on SimNet projects and we talk about that setting in the uh, assignment details area. But if you allow uh, integrity violations to get uploaded, they will display here on your dashboard. Um, additionally, you can be notified of these. So if you click the configure button here, you can determine how often, once a week, once you know every month, the number of days, whatever, um, to get an email that if you have integrity violations. So um, you get to determine that. This is a this is really nice in that. Uh, Usually, once you get your SimNet course set up and paired with your LMS, you really don't go back to the SimNet course too often during the semester. I don't anyways. Once my, once everything's paired up, um, my grade book's in Canvas and my LMS, and, and I once in a while will go in and check the SimNet grade book or if there's something wrong, but usually not. So, so I don't get in there very often. So it's nice to, if you allow integrity violations to be uploaded, to be notified automatically where you don't have to go check SimNet for that. So that's the integrity violation area. Student activity. Now again, um, I don't have a whole lot of student activity. I'm gonna I'm gonna display all courses here. 
and it'll change a little bit here. But um, this area, student activity shows you how many. So these are ones that have idle for uh, two plus weeks, just because again, we're at the end of the semester. It's been a long time since the spring semester ended. Uh, I can filter here by deselecting any of these. I can filter what gets displayed here if I want to do it that way. And uh, and that's nice by clicking those. If, if I click the any of the pieces of the pie here it will take me and show me those that student activity as well same thing here on the past due assignments if i click this it will display those students with past due assignments i don't i don't want to display those right here um so that's student activity that's kind of nice in a little snapshot you can see how active your students are in the class and and most of the time it will be mostly green students are going to be active in there doing assignments regularly uh, but keep an eye on those that are, you know, idle for two plus weeks is a good one to look at. Credential issues. This is a this is for SimNet digital credentials. Now there are four different credentials that students can earn for each application. So they can earn a white belt, which is the intro level content in the SIM book by completing the let me tries of the intro level chapters in the SIM book. The level two, which is the yellow belt, is the capstone project for the intro level chapters for each application. So, um, so that's the yellow belt. Purple belt is completing the entire SIM book for each application. And then the black belt is completing a SIMnet exam for each application. And uh, so you can see these are all my classes, how many students have earned black belts, which is impressive because those are very difficult to, to earn. Um, I can filter by, if I wanna go see just a class here, I can do that and display information about that class specifically. And now it shows me, okay, how many have earned a white belt and so on and so on. If I get, get rid of students with none, it will change the way that looks. So most of the students or over half earned a, at least a white belt and or, or that percentage there, 25 earned, which is actually most of the students in the class, 14 a yellow. And then if I wanted to view these, I could view just the yellow belts, I could view just the black belts, all of those, or I could view them all and go look at that. So I can view with the credentials issue, again, I can filter by class, I can filter by belt and just choose and just display a certain belt. So if I click the purple here, that will show me those students who earned a purple belt in this course. And uh, very nice. I'll go back to the dashboard. And that's the dashboard. I hope this information was helpful. Have a great day.